I really love being in the solar energy business, primarily because what we're doing on a daily basis is helping to save the planet. The more people that put solar energy on their roof, the less we'll be relying on fossil fuels, which of course are in very short supply. My name is Michael Powers. I'm one of the owners and I'm the sales manager of Stellar Solar. Stellar Solar installs solar electric panels in houses and commercial properties. Solar electric is where the light hits the solar panels and it makes electricity for the house. During the daytime, like right now when it's really sunny, the solar panels are always going to be making more power than the house needs. So that extra power, instead of being stored in batteries like we used to have to do, now we sell it back to SDG&E and the meter actually runs backwards. Customers who are on this system only pay their electric bill once a year. So at the end of one full year, you pay the difference between what you've produced and what you've used. If you produce and use the same amount, your electric bill is zero. Well, we use math in a couple of different ways for solar energy and the solar energy business. The initial calculation that we do is to determine how much electricity the customer is actually using, because that's going to tell us how many panels they require. When we did an analysis of this customer's bill, we actually found out that they were using 679 kilowatt hours a month on the average, and each solar panel is going to produce 27.5 kilowatt hours a month on the average. So 679 divided by 27.5 comes out to be 24 solar panels and some fraction. So that's why we know, first of all, that it's going to take 24 solar panels to eliminate their electric bill completely. Once we know how many solar panels we're going to produce that it takes to eliminate their electric bill, the next question is, will, those, will that many panels fit on the roof? So we have to do some pretty extensive measurements. But secondly, you notice that the solar panels are not on their flat, they're actually tilted up at a particular angle. Well, we use trigonometry and geometry to measure that angle, and what we know is that 20 degrees is the ideal angle for those uh, pitch to make the best, uh, the most amount of electricity. And so not only is it a question of making sure everything is going to fit, but that everything is uh, securely pitched at exactly the same angle, and that that's the best angle to make the most amount of electricity. This is where you can actually see how much power is being produced. So right now it's producing 1,452 watts and that number is going up. California is like the third largest area in the world that's doing solar energy. Germany's number one, Spain is number two, and California, if it were a country, would be number three. So our business is really growing. For people who are interested not just in solar energy, but wind energy, renewable energy, and alternative energy of all kinds, it's just such a growing field, but it's, it's so clearly based in science and math. And the best thing you could do is get a good grounding in how to work with numbers. Is the way the calculation is, is that every day the sun produces more energy than we use from all other sources put together. So if we could just capture that solar electricity and move it to the right location, put it into the right form, we'd never have an energy shortage at all.